Hi right, guys, I got the what is again. Look at this. I created my own Linux Mint ISO. That is the one of today. Check 14 hours 2103. Yep, that's mine. This is the one I downloaded. This is the one I have. So of course I added more software to it because otherwise I have to install everything. You can change a few things in there. I don't think we're gonna see it here, but we can change these wallpapers and the name. Those are things we can install while change and then gives a feeling of your own personal Linux Mint distribution. But let's have a look. I'll tell you later with what tool I'd made it. Let's, let's see that if it works. This looks all normal. Nothing for me. That's me, all right. I did not include GIP and Inkscape, not yet. Is that all I did? Just sublime text. I installed more stuff. NeoFetch, for example. Ta da! NeoFetch works. And I've changed the Bezier C as well on the fly, right? So inside. So that gives you a feeling if I can change this and can change anything, right? It's just adding a tool, adding a line in the Bezier C. So Bezier C is mine. To grab and change. Uh, there's the hint with what I made it. Neo fetch. Cubic is the application I used in a virtual machine, guys. In a virtual machine, I installed Cubic, let it create an ISO, got the ISO out of it, and then put it back in Arch, well, Arcolix, uh, virtual box, and here we are. So that means that anything that I'll change in the ETC scale, anything I dump there, will also be on the future system. Well, let's see if this still works after all that. Okay, English, fine. Isn't there supposed to be something here? I don't know. English. And then Belgian. So this feels like a holiday project for this year. It really does. Login automatically. Off it goes. What else did I change? I don't think I've included melt, but I should have. I did not include it. Sublime text is mine. Ah, yeah, I updated my system. That was the longest thing I've done. So when you type sudo apt update, you shouldn't get anything. Okay. <laughs> Repositories. Yeah, I've never done that either in a live DVD. So it might be normal. Don't tell me that's the only application that I installed. I updated, yes, sublime text, yes. Firefox was there. I could have removed transmission. I would have installed VLC now. Office.
They have QT5 settings as well. All right, looking good. This has potential. So that means you download the Linux Mint, probably XFC gonna take that one rather than Cinnamon. And then remove the stuff I don't want, sudo apt remove, and sudo apt install the stuff I do want. Then I need to add XFCE, keyboard bindings and settings, wallpapers and variety and all that. Mm -hmm. hmm. No, I did not install variety. Hmm. But Sublime Text is there. So that's the test. And a control, well, an F12, is it? Or a control T? A control T shows the Bashar C. So, yeah, it's still seven months away, but looks like a great, great holiday project. Because otherwise, every single time you have to go through the emotions of appearance and then going for opacity, if that's gonna work, yeah, that's cool enough or like this or like that every single time display menu bar gone colors compatibility advanced okay click buy Control T much better should actually be a little bit bigger right something like this 8 by 26 I thought I saw 80 by 26 I think I saw something like that close better I didn't figure out what kernel how to get the newest kernel on Linux Mint in the ISO must be possible as well Like I said, this is an awesome, awesome holiday project. How to modify Linux Mint 20.2 and even install i3 on it and all the arc themes. Great ideas, great what ifs. Hmm. Those who can't wait. And no, I'm tired of clicking that all the way, all the way. Technic, I think. It was this an X cubic, I think. Let's see, now correct me. OS Technics, oh, archives, what's that? Did he make some archives? Oh, it's just an archive 2020. I did see a video of 2021, so it's still working. I tried, I tested it, it's still working. So this is the one I followed OS Technics, how to create a custom Ubuntu life. Of course, I thought about my beloved Linux Mint, not Ubuntu. Ubuntu, 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 Ubuntu. No, this came automatically when I did this did not do the classic thing that's for older stuff and then I just did not look at this anymore I just followed you have to create a folder indeed cubic is what I took as well and then you put in the ISO of Linux Mint and then all the rest gets filled in you can change some things here some names maybe so custom vocal Vossa I did name it Arch Linux, but I never saw Arch Linux anywhere mentioned, so I have to take a look at that again. It takes a while, right? Extracting everything and changing. This is the update system. New fetch is installed. Uh, sudo apt update upgrade. And Sublime Text came in like that. 
you'll see there are folders that created and I found the Bash RC so ooh, gonna change the Bash RC Sublime Text opened it with Sublime Text added NeoFetch in the end and told them to sudo apt install NeoFetch boom it's on the ISO great so these things are possible so now it's how far can you go right how far can you theme and tweak this thing uh, yeah cool interesting project this was a little bit confusing select packages will be automatically removed right not installed the installation thing is the black screen up here here you do your own stuff and indeed you can copy paste code and that's maybe I hope I can do a git clone and I'm not sure if I can if I could do that then I can run my scripts that I have already on Eric Dubois gets up but I don't know so still more questions but interesting and this is things you want to remove and Gport uh, they wanted to remove that by default so they, they will give a selection already as I know keep 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 and here I'm I'm a bit confused right I didn't have a choice use but I was used during the semester maybe different I so I just kept off since I did not get it if I could add the latest kernel to it or something like that I have hopes that it's possible I don't know gzip is what we used so a nice um, graphic so higher compression it's lower and smaller size and lower compression going up and faster and slower sure gzip looks like a, a good in between and then it starts work and work and work and work and working and then an iso is out like so and that's what you're looking at interesting project if you got the time already be my guest cheers